Hi everyone, my name is Gabby Morrow. I am a senior vice president at Ryder Scott Company, and I'm also the chair for the Gulf Coast section of Society of Petroleum Engineers here in Houston. I'm really excited to be a part of the upcoming panel discussion for the Houston Geological Society regarding the state of private equity in oil and gas. What's unique about this panel is that none of us are actually geoscientists. I think it was important for the Houston Geological Society to give its members an opportunity to network with and ask questions to private equity representatives that are outside your own field of technical expertise. I myself am a reserves auditor, and my background is in engineering. I specialize in creating reserve cash flows. Whether you are buying or selling oil and gas assets, pretty much every deal starts with a reserves cash flow. Investors want to know what amount of oil and gas volumes you are going to get out of the ground and sell, and then also the profit you can expect to make off of those volumes. All of that information comes out of the reserves cash flow. Obviously, prices and operating costs have a big impact on the reserves cash flow. Just over the past year, prices for year-end reserve calculations dropped almost 20%. That's a very large drop in just a single year. Unfortunately, we haven't seen a similar drop in costs. Prices have been mainly hovering between $45 and $65 a barrel since the beginning of 2015. And even in the heightened geopolitical state we are currently in with Iran in the Middle East, it only reached $70 a barrel for a very short period of time. So where's the best place to make money right now? What assets would you consider buying? Why are folks having a hard time selling? And where are prices going to go? What does all of this mean for the private equity sector within oil and gas? Come join me on January 27th for an amazing panel discussion. Bring your questions and bring your friends. I look forward to seeing you all there.